go fishing Cause it takes my stress away I wanna go fishing Try and cast my blues away I wanna go fishing I don't want to watch the clock I wanna go fishing All righty, number three. We got number three on right now. Oh, number four. Number four. Huh? Yep. Okay. Well, as he's bringing yours in, his in, just let yours just kind of do it. Just keep your line tight. All right. What's this? We don't even know what it is. It's the mystery fish. Good size though. We can. All right, he's close to the boat now. We got the net cam going. Oh, I think it's going to be a red fish. I think it's... Yep, red fish. I just said that's what we need next. That's what we need next. Oh, yeah, keep a red fish. Keep a red fish. Who let them dogs out? Come here, red bass. He's a junkyard dog. All right. Who let them dogs out? Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Perfect sized one, too. <laughs> All right. Nice. Nice. All right. Let's measure him on the official redfish measuring board. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, man. Perfect. 27. Oh, my gosh. No, oh, oh, almost. Go ahead and squeeze it. He's still under 27, which is perfect. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, man, look at the size of that trout. Nice and easy. Super nice. Super nice. Nice and easy. Giant, giant, giant trout. Giant trout. And we're not allowed to keep them. Oh, are you oh, kidding me? Can you, that? <laughs> Can you believe that? Can you believe that? So we gotta we gotta work fast. We gotta work fast. Can you believe this? We gotta throw them back. That's that's the the new Tallahassee, Florida for you. Yeah. Oh man. Well, we're gonna get a poundage on him right now. Twenty-seven and a half inch trout. Uh, he's about seven. Yep. Seven pounder. Seven seven pounder. Yep. Come on. Come on. Another trophy trout. Come on, dude. Oh, nice. There's the first time so far that now we have to throw giants back they just came out with this law what was it last this past february i think it was where i can't have a limit and you can only have one over 20 inches so what are you gonna do you're gonna naturally keep your first one well here you just caught another one that's what bozy three inches bigger that's right don't forget it either oh my god all right folks well Welcome to Florida. I'm sorry, I'll try to catch a small one next time. Yes, please do, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know. If, I can't remember what the heck I videoed. We took so many pictures of video, we can't remember, so I'm just going over it all again. So that's the uh, 26 and a half, three quarter inch redfish. It just, just is perfect. Okay, throw him in there and pull out the next one. Uh, there's about a five pound trout. That's a nice one. Okay, and then we got this other trout. And we thought that one was a nice one. And then of course we have the picture I will put right now of one that went seven pounds. Because I didn't do video of that. We got some mangroves. We need to, we need to thin the herd on these little bastards from eating all our bait. So now, it's gonna be time to make the donuts. All right, boy, that was a hell of a day. I mean, here's it was a little bit bouncing around on subjects, I know, but here's the problem. As of like February, I'm not allowed a limit of speckled trout. The trout went from six to five per person, and 
you can only have one over 20 inches for the whole damn boat. Well, the problem is we had one that was 19, we had one that was five pounds, and we had one that was seven pounds. I hate having to try to release those fish, but we released them and he swam away. So, not a bunch of trout, but my God, they were big. I think me and Traveler Bob on Monday and Tuesday may go get us a few. So, um, and a nice keeper redfish. So either way, here's another thing I did. I had a big cooler back here. I got rid of it. It's in the garage. And I got me a split lid. It takes up a lot less space. I got my live well over here as the opener. But then I take my shrimp from here and I put that in there and then I put it up on the on the um, on the cutting board here so I went with a much smaller cooler I had that big 120 sitting here so you know me I'm always just looking for a little bit better edge and always more fishing space so tomorrow I got two I got two kids trips or a half day in a kids trip or something so i see my customers are coming back because they forgot something so all right well that's it everybody wants a little fishing there we go there's a little fishing what a difference a day makes it's father's day and there's no one at the ramp except me and fish buster old robbie 60 percent chance of rain it's this tropical storm that went through the gulf near new orleans and there's nobody around yesterday on saturday it was an utter zoo there you go now what what is that that's right, that's a croaker. You gonna kiss him now? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice croaky too. Shall we take it home? Hey, it's up to mom and dad. Uh, <laughs> Look, yeah. why, uh, what, you gonna eat it? Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah. You gonna eat this fish? Yeah. What, you gonna put it between a Ritz cracker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do it. You're gonna do it? Yeah. Uh, you're gonna clean them. You're gonna clean them. You know how? You don't know how to. Oh, d Dad knows how to clean them. Oh, okay. All right. I'll I'll dehook them now. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a morning Father's Day two-hour kids trip with a cute little boy, mom and dad. I got a half day that we're gonna reschedule. There's this uh, tropical storm thing that went through the Gulf over by Louisiana and now it's bringing all kinds of rain and everything so the rain showers are coming in waves so I we're gonna reschedule this afternoon's trip so next up next up is Traveler Bob for two days uh, hopefully we'll be catching some big trout. I'm really loving my new cooler here. There's my live well side. And then you got your storage side over here. I'm liking this. It takes up a lot less room and still provides a seat. Look at all them river crickets in that old brown nasty ass water. Ah, a weekday. Hardly anybody around. A weekday. It's going to be a weekday with Traveler Bob. And tomorrow.
O2. No one around. Come on. All right. Who let the dogs out? Bob's got the first one. Let me get mine out of the way. Oh my God, Bob. Oh my God, nice one. Oh. I told everybody I'm going gator hunting. Look at Bob. Look at Bob. Just look at look at that sunscreened face. That's the face of a killer. Yeah, baby. Who let them dogs out? Uh oh, he's gonna freak. Gotta go for the just rabbit glove. Oh, he still thinks he's swimming. Now, guess what, Bob? That one's over 20 inches, so if we catch a bigger, guess what? We gotta let him go. Can you believe that? Look at that tail. His tail is just tore up. Looks how yellow he is. Remember I was telling you about the yellowness? Yep. Alright. See how yellow he is right here, folks? Let me show you something. Right in here, all this yellow, that bright yellow mouth, that's because they're coming from the brackish water. That's where this dude's been living. Hell of a nice fish there, Bob. But now if you get one bigger, he has to go. Yeah. Florida trout laws suck because we're gator hunters. We ain't looking though for no 14, 15 inches. Look at that. Look at that screwed up tail. Okay. So he's 23. The one the other day was 24 and a half and 27 and a half. Burning hands better than two in the bush. Stick in the eye. That's it. All right. Knocker rig shrimp. Isn't he cute? He's just a little bye bye. We get one bigger. His ass goes in the box. Now it's raining. Hopefully, it'll just blow over. In the rain. Come on. Let's see if he snaps. Whoa! Did you see that? He snapped. Oh! It tickled his jaw and then they snap. Do not get your fingers in the way. All right, Bob's got something with shoulders. A little bit of shoulders. Oh, a little puppy drum. Another puppy drum. All right. Well. Hey, at least it's another species. It is. Bob's going to use the official just grab it glove and he's going to disembark Mr. Drum. Another mangrove for the box. Then another one. Yeah, we got to get these. You, you got to you gotta thin the herd on these dudes. So if they're 10 inches or whatever, put them in the box because they're at every rock pile. All right, Bob got another really nice mangrove snapper. Look at that bastard. He is a eating machine. Look at that fat belly. It's probably on a shrimp. Yeah. All right, it's really raining now. I thought we were over this stuff. Bob's even got his banana suit on. Mangro it's all mangrove snappers. Oh, let them dogs out. Oh, let them dogs out. All right, Bob got another one. Smaller one so we can keep them. We're going to put his ass in the box. Okay, Bob's hooked up with a monster. Big old red or something. I got to get mine out of the way. Oh my God, Bob was just bent completely over. Reeling this thing all the way up behind the boat and it got right here and all of a sudden the hook just went boink, right out of its mouth. That was probably that keeper redfish we're looking for. Oh my gosh. We've been waiting to keep get a keeper redfish all day. And Bob stuck him. And then he unstuck himself. Was that that Teflon hook I gave you, Bob? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was I think it's Teflon or what do they call that? PTFD or something? Yeah. 
<laughs> the barbless uh the barbless uh, Teflon hooks. Yeah. <laughs> That's the old joke. I don't know if you can see that, but boy, is that a ring of clouds. A ring of clouds. Tropical Storm Claudette ain't done yet. Look at that ring. God dang, day two. Traveler Bob's heading down to the boat. There's Jayville. This stuff is still coming out of the Gulf. Look at that. There's New Orleans. This stuff is still coming out of the Gulf. Hopefully this will continue going that way. I mean, it's ranging all the way up. Look at that. All the way to... Albany Albany New York good God this is like day three day four oh well that's the reason we come prepared okay here comes, here's Bob look at look how prepped Bob is he's got his bag He's got his hat, he's got his, his face is all whited out. He's got a different shirt on. 99% of the time, Bob wears a white shirt out fishing for sun reflect reflection, right? That's right. <laughs> and he's got food. Fried fish from Singleton's. Fried fish, and I brought the bread and I already put some mayo on it. Oh, just to keep. they gave us tartar sauce. Oh, they gave us tartar sauce. Yeah. All right, we'll hand that here. <laughs> oh, I won't. All right. Okay. Put this all in here. All righty. It's the end of the day. Day two with Traveler Bob. Oh my goodness. As you can see, it's pouring rain again. I'll be yelling over the rain. Oh man, we quit early. We hardly caught anything on day two here. It's uh, Tuesday, I believe. And June 21st. Here's all our shrimp that was left over. We took, I took a ton of shrimp because of the mangrove snappers and everything in the river. So, there's all the shrimp that's left. Let's see, we went on a big trout hunt again. Went to a spot that was so perfection this morning. An old, old school trout spot that only old school trout people even know. Everything was perfect. The current, everything. And we never had a bite. Only thing I kept all day was these two right here. These are two, two mangrove snapper fillets right here in this bag. That's it. We caught two 14, 14 and a half inch trout, a bunch of catfish, because I was throwing uh, jigs and knocker rigs. So there you go. That's the last, I don't know, three trips. So everybody asks for fishing. There you go. There's fishing. So, and my cooler, my split lid cooler. Working out. Absolutely perfect. I highly recommend Icy Tech. They're the only ones that ever make any divided coolers or anything. 
See, this one's got a divider in it. Live well on this side, bait storage on this side. And, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I've always been wanting to do this. I took my oxygen bottle that runs my live well, and I'll tell you it's a good thing. At the boat ramp, the salinity right now is totally different than it is up the river. If you've got a recirculating live well, let me tell you, by the time you go up to St. John's, your shrimp will all die, most likely. Or a lot of them will die because it's the water's very fresh. So I run oxygen. And I'll show you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but here's the tube. And I mounted my oxygen bottle tucked away up under my leaning post. Up under here on these big rubber straps I've been wanting to do that for so long I had the oxygen bottle just sitting there and now it's kind of out of sight out of mind I got to make sure it's not out of my mind because if it goes empty I got a replacement so there you go thanks for watching I know this, I'm telling you this beforehand, but this is going to be an editing nightmare. <laughs> so I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.